So good morning, ladies and gentlemen and friends. Uh, it's a real pleasure and an honor for me to be uh, here, uh, especially as for, uh, and in this panel, especially as for now uh, three decades I've been involved in uh, agricultural production and development uh, throughout the world, but also because in the past years with uh, the board of Danone, I've been introduced to other dimensions of uh, what we used to call the food revolution. And uh, we have here to address uh, the very important issue of food security, a wonderful panel, uh, whom I will introduce a little bit later. But let's start by saying that even though uh, numbers, uh, different numbers may be floating, this year we have had about uh, 20 countries introducing partial or full bans on agricultural exports in the world which of course is a very uh, roaring uh, uh, signal and which is undermining trust, which, has at the v which is at the very bottom of any security system in, uh, in the world. And among those countries, you don't have uh, the smallest. One of the latest one has been India uh, with rice. India is a major exporter of rice. It's about, if I'm not mistaken, around 25% of uh, world rice uh, exports. And uh, this uh, is uh, underlying uh, a global fear of uh, a shortage of production uh, in the world, which will, I think, address uh, whether it is a fantasy or a reality, especially on the long run. But it's also um, uh, showing how political this market remains. Uh, it's not just about exchanging goods, it's about being in the international relations, and I think that our panelists uh, will help us uh, understanding how economics and politics uh, interplay uh, there. What is also very, what has been also uh, very striking in the very past years is to see those agricultural issues raising as major environmental issues, not only because climate change is affecting agricultural production, of course, but also because agriculture has emerged as a major uh, carbon emitter worldwide and is part of the climate change strategy for, for the goal. And let me end up by highlighting also the fact that uh, be, be behind or at the root of many of our challenges is the poverty issue. More and more across the world, uh, uh, extreme poverty is aligned with uh, rural areas, farmers, poor farmers. And as we go and uh, uh, average uh, wealth in the world increases, uh, poverty concentrates in those rural uh, areas and hence we have a major social, uh, social pro 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 uh, problem there. So one, one major issue uh, for our panel is uh, whether we'll have an agricultural war or not, or a water war. Yes, no, this is part of uh, the types of issues that we'll uh, discuss. Uh, and it's very important that we can do it because after all, those agricultural issues tend to be addressed only when major crises occur. The last time we had hot debates around those issues was in 2007, 2008, uh, when we had similar problems arising, and then afterwards, the kind of political tension to those issues dropped, uh, and of course now is reviving. So let's try maybe uh, to restart a conversation around those issues that can last, uh, and be able to address one of the most structural uh, important uh, issues uh, in, in the world. Uh, and uh, that will address from the uh, changing demand side as well as the changing production uh, side. So, uh, as I told you, we have an incredible, uh, talented, uh, and knowledgeable panel to address these uh, issues. Let me start uh, with uh, Minister Mariam al uh, who is the uh, Minister in charge of uh, climate change and environment of the United Arab Emirates, but also is in charge of food security, a very interesting policy association. And uh, Minister Al-Mouiri will uh, close our panel 
uh, and therefore have a, an opportunity not only to uh, uh, share her messages, but also to react, if she wishes, to what will have been uh, she, uh, addressed before. Uh, we'll start uh, the panel with two very senior um, um, academic and policy uh, makers and advisors, uh, Mr. Maximo torero Kulen, who is uh, uh, on the screen with us, uh, chief economist of FAO, and then Pierre Jacquet, president of the Global Development Network and professor at the Ecole Nationale de Ponts et Chaussées, and uh, his most uh, prestigious incarnation in life, a former chief ex economist of uh, the French Development Agency uh, in uh, shared uh, years. And then we'll turn uh, to um, uh, Mr. Chris Narmouti, uh, who is currently uh, Associate Professor of Agribusiness at Bogor University, but used to be uh, Vice Minister of Trade and Vice Minister of Agriculture in Indonesia, with, uh, and uh, he will be able to provide us with um, uh, an Asian perspective on global uh, issues. Unfortunately, um, uh, uh, the, um, uh, one of our panelists has dropped, uh, so uh, you will be a woman. I'm just saying that with the ones who, in this room who complain about uh, gender parity, uh, which we try to implement in this panel. Uh, so uh, our panelists will have a little bit more time uh, to share, and, uh, but I kindly ask them not to go beyond 10 minutes so that we can have the time to uh, draw also from uh, the experience of uh, very knowledgeable people in this room. And I expect, for instance, that uh, people like uh, uh, Jean-Marie Pogam, who is the, director, vice, the Deputy Director General of WTO in charge of agriculture, who is sitting there, but also people like Lionel Zinsou, who also provide additional perspective in our debate. Good